Hey guys, it's us, and today we're gonna be exploring Kuala Lumpur's famous Chinatown and also Jalan Alor. Let's go! Alright guys, so we are now at the start of the epicenter of Kuala Lumpur's Chinatown, which is Petaling Street. Yes, Petaling Street is basically a market full of fashion stalls, food stalls, and entertainment. Yeah, we're excited to be here. So far, lots of people, lots of tourists, lots of uh, counterfeits, <laughs> lots of fake items so far. It's pretty cool. It's just stalls upon stalls upon stalls. Yeah, and honestly, did you even go to a place if you didn't visit their Chinatown? Yeah, whenever we go to new places, we love exploring their Chinatowns because you just never know what you'll find. Yeah, there's literally everything here from obviously local foods, yeah. local clothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a yeah, so Anne got one of these at the market the other day. I want one, 20 ringgits, but I bargained, you know? I bargained down to 15. What a Filipino. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm Filipino. <laughs> Got a bargain. Thank you. Wow, this market is massive. Yeah, overwhelming. Yeah, it is kind of overwhelming. I kind of want to get a drink. Though. Start with a drink. How much? 65. What's your last? 50 ringgit. 50 ringgit? This is better quality and this one cheaper. This one 40. Oh, okay. So this is 50 ringgits. So around 14 Canadian dollars. Uh, can we get the avocado and Since it's a market, they sell varieties of fruit as well. And I got me some jackfruit for only four ringgits. And not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite fruits. But we'll have it later. We have a Prado. Okay. Prado. <laughs> it's actually pretty good quality. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We're gonna get some souvenirs. Fridge magnet. This one? This one's seven. So I think this is one of the biggest market that I've been to that sells counterfeit items. They're literally everywhere. Bigger than Green Hills. Yeah, in the Philippines. <laughs> I even see some Rolex. I've been wanting a Rolex for a while. Maybe I'll just buy a fake one. This is the day. Where's Gamet this? Oh, it's a dress? Oh, yeah. okay. It's a dress? It's two and one. It can be a dress and one. How much? 55. 55. Okay. Wait, look, we got some rings. Hello. Are you okay? I did 25. Okay, you're a gentleman. <laughs> I mean, can I, can I try it on? For, can I try it on if it fits? You try it first. You try. Oh, that kind of big. It's big. I have a small size. That vendor was so kind. We were having like conversation stuff. And he did give us a discount as well. Yeah, we got a Carter ring. Yeah, so since it's a fake, it's a Carter ring. <laughs> I mean, I was only going to get one. And then Anne's like, oh, it looks nice. I'll get one too. Alright guys, so we've been walking in the market now for almost an hour. Since it's 7 p.m., there's quite a bit of people in there now. But we're gonna go find some food sauce because we're getting hungry. So let's go see what they have around this area. Come on. Be careful, mate. So there's 
there's actually quite a bit to choose from in terms of food, but I think we're gonna get some skewers as a snack. They have all kinds of skewers here and they range from 250 RM to 5 RM. The cool thing about this is you get to choose if you want it steamed or grilled. So obviously gonna get it grilled because skewers are better that way in our opinion. So let's go choose our skewers right now, let's go. So they tell you the price by color. So the stick has a blue color. So this is 450 RM. This one, five. This one, you. Okay. Okay, spicy, no spicy? Uh, no spicy. Okay, thank you. waiting for our skewers right now they're getting grilled so you actually get three choices you can get it either steamed fried or grilled so right now it is 7 30 p.m. honestly this is the best time to go here because it's not hot mm, yeah. right now that the Sun has gone down it's yeah. a lot more chaotic here yeah very chaotic yeah. Sure. a lot and lots super, of people. super super busy uh, thank you thank you okay thank you there's more coming Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So our skewers are here. We got some chicken skewers. We also got some enoki mushrooms with some sort of ham. We also got some baby octopus. We got some fried mushrooms right here as well. And some fried pork meatballs. That's good. Just salty though. The ham is salty, but obviously the enoki mushroom is very light in flavor, so it's a good balance, right? It's really good. Yeah. This alone set the bar high. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. uh, this is what I want to try right here. Fried mushrooms. Anne and I, we love mushrooms. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> this is to the guy that said, why do you guys always say cheers every time you eat? We're celebrating food, okay? Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers to you, buddy. <laughs> Strong, strong flavor. You know what's cool too? Like before they deep fry it, they put some batter and it's kind of spicy. A little bit. A little bit, but wow, that's delicious. Mm. It's almost like chicken. It's good that they deep fried it because it's actually pretty good. We didn't say deep fried, but they know better than us, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the, the baby octopus. Wow, the flavor on that is, is yummy. Yeah. Look at the vibe here, guys. We're literally outside. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. <laughs> this has less flavor for me. Really? Compared to the first two that we had, but still really good. I, think I love so, octopus. So. so far, I love the mushroom by oh. itself. I like this. With the wrap. Mm -hmm. right, let's give this one a try now, which is the chicken skewers. It's like sweet with a curry aftertaste. You can't go wrong with chicken skewers. Last but not the least is the pork meatballs. Mmm, kind of dry, but flavor-wise, right here. You didn't even try any of the sauces. I know, I'm gonna try it with the sauce. I forgot about the sauce. Mmm, it's kind of salty. Mm. Lots and lots of flavor in this one. The thing about like meatballs, they say it's pork, but to me it's just mystery meat, you know? <laughs> you don't know what's actually in there, but it's good though, that one. So we just finished eating. That was really good. We only paid like $6 for all of those skewers, mm -hmm. which was a pretty damn good deal to us. So right now we're gonna walk around, see what else they have to offer. Maybe get some dessert. Let's keep going, let's go. Right now we're at the very end of Chinatown. It is currently 8 p.m. and there's so many people here. Lots of tourists, lots of foreigners, but the vibe is amazing. 10 feet away, there's literally someone performing. All the tables and chairs are basically full right now. Everyone's just having a good time, drinking, eating, 
just a good vibes out here, man. Definitely recommend Chinatown Kuala Lumpur if you're ever here in Malaysia. All right, guys, so we just finished roaming around Chinatown. Really good, highly recommend it. But now we want a bigger meal and we're gonna go get it at Jalan Alor. So Jalan Alor is another famous market here in Kuala Lumpur. From what we were told, it's also a really nice market to check out. So that's what we'll do right now. We're currently waiting for our grab. It'll be here in two minutes. We'll catch you guys in Jalan Alor. Like John mentioned before, this is another very popular street market here in Kuala Lumpur. And as you can see behind me, it is very chaotic and very energetic here just like you've seen in Chinatown. They are known for having a lot of food stalls and food vendors. So Jen and I came with big appetite today from exploring Chinatown, so we're ready to eat. Alright, so before we continue with the vlog, we'd like to take a minute to introduce today's video sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN which stands for Virtual Private Network. This VPN ensures your safety and privacy by encrypting everything you do online. When we started our travel journey three years ago, Anne and I didn't fully grasp the importance of having a reliable VPN. Being constantly on the move means working on the go. And working on the go means connecting to various Wi-Fi networks worldwide. Unfortunately, public Wi-Fi isn't as secure as we often think. There are risks involved, with prying eyes and hackers everywhere we go. But with Surfshark, you can confidently share your travel stories and even manage your finances knowing that your online activity is encrypted. And when it's time to unwind after a long day of exploring, Surfshark allows you to unlock a world of entertainment. This is our absolute favorite feature. Surfshark is the best Netflix VPN because you can easily unblock libraries in other countries. In other words, we can binge watch our favorite shows no matter where we are in the world. So we highly encourage you to give it a try. If you visit the link in the video description below and use our code Jan and Ann, you'll get an extra three months free. And rest assured, if you're not satisfied, it's completely refundable. Now let's get back to the vlog. Let's go. Alright guys, so far from what we can see, Jalana Lord definitely has more food, lots more restaurants, a lot more food stalls than Chinatown. Chinatown kind of offers more like of souvenirs. Yeah, yeah, souvenirs, clothing. Yeah. I guess it really depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, if you guys are looking to eat your heart away, then Jalan Alor oh, is the place to be. We haven't even walked like halfway yet and we had to stop at this vendor because they sell some fresh fruit teas and it reminded us of the lemonade that we had the other day at Connaught Market and it was honestly the best lemonade that Chan and I have ever had. I know, had. I'm like craving it right now. Yeah. Got their new arrival, it's like honey... Lemon tea. This was 8RM, but look how tall it is. It's still good, I'm, obviously it's not the same, but it's still it's really refreshing, enough. it's good. Let's even come close to the other one. Okay, but is it good? It's like a 6 out of 10. It's too sweet for me. Okay, so this place honestly is a little more chaotic than Chinatown and I'm kind of surprised by that. But I guess it is dinner time and everyone's here to eat. And man, the food is looking pretty damn good, guys. Such a cool vibe as well because there are vendors on both sides, yeah. also restaurants and then alfresco dining. I'm just hoping it doesn't rain. Because yeah. <laughs> if it rains, damn, I don't know how people are going to get out of here. I'm just so glad that it's open concept as well. It's more open than Chinatown, so it's not it's not too hot. We passed by a vendor that was selling sweet corn and I couldn't resist. I love corn. This was only 6 RM for this whole cup right here. You know like when your sides get tingly? That's what I feel right now. <laughs> So good. Is it actually? Yeah, have some. Alright, so before dinner I guess we'll have some quick snacks. Appetizer. Light snacks. Yeah, appetizers. Oh. It's so, it's so buttery. I like this. Can I have it? <laughs> I think we found the restaurant that we will be eating at for dinner this evening. Ming Ki Grill Fish. 
One of the main reasons why we chose this place is because it is so packed. Out of all the restaurants that are here, this place is so packed that it was really hard for us to get a, a table. Babe, we're about to have dinner and you're having corn. This is honestly the best corn I've ever had. <laughs> Do you agree? It's actually really, really good. <laughs> like, best corn I've ever had. <laughs> Alright, so we're ordering right now. Bunch of seafood here. Probably gonna stick with something easier to eat. Like we love crabs, so we don't feel like eating crabs right now. It's hard to eat. It's hard to eat. So probably something like with prawn, like prawn, fish. And we'll get the barbecue squid. And this one. Okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah, just small. Yeah. So we just ordered. We're waiting for our food, but. Look at what's in front of us. We got some entertainment, guys. Some people are singing right now. Check it out. Live band right in front of us. So our food is here. We got four things. We got some black pepper beef, chili prawns. This looks amazing. Char tio noodles. Sorry, I'm, I butchered that word. And we also got some barbecue grilled squid that's coming in a few minutes. Everything looks amazing and the price is so affordable. I'm just super excited to eat right now. This one looks so good. Look at that. Look at There's a band right in front of us too. Honestly, the vibe kind of reminds me of Philippines. Like, I feel like I'm from the Philippines. Like Boraca, eh? except yeah. without the beach. Yeah, exactly. It really does, eh? Yeah, just cheaper, which is insane. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. This was 50 ringgit. 50 ringgit is around 14 Canadian dollars. But it's a big portion, though. Look at that. Wow, it's so fresh, so flavorful. The chili prawn, oh my god. <laughs> it got spicy. Okay, sucking the head maybe wasn't a good idea because all the spice just went in my throat. But wow, the flavor of that thing. Ooh, out of this world, man, so good. the best meal we've had in Kuala Lumpur. No, for real, that was amazing. Yeah. Let me just add to what Anne said when she said that was probably the most amazing meal we've had in Kuala Lumpur. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was so good. We, we honestly thought like we ordered a little too much, but it was so damn good that we ate it all. Now, it's time to get some desserts, baby. <laughs> So we're gonna get some dessert and I saw some Portuguese egg tart. You know me, I love me my egg tart. So let's go get some, it's only four ringgits. So have ourselves some delicious egg tart for dessert. So good. So it's now 10 p.m. So quite a bit of people here, but it's not as busy as when we got here at around 8 p.m. I feel like people just come here to eat dinner and after that they just bounce. Alright guys, so we are actually now outside our hotel. Really, really highly recommend Chinatown and Jalan Allure. It was good. And the food was amazing too. We're so full right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We do hope that you enjoyed this vlog. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on social media for daily updates. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace!